Well, you know, backyard barbecues have long been a big summer tradition. However, in recent years, there's been a shift in the food culture. Yeah, according to a new survey from Yale Climate Connections, about a third of adults are trying to eat less meat, whether for reasons related to health, animal welfare, cost, or to address climate change. And Chef Marcus Samuelson, who has curated some delicious plant-based options, to make sure that no one feels left out at the cookout is joining us this morning to share some of those recipes. Yeah. Chef, so good to see you. Thank you for being on our show today. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. It's Memorial, you know, once Memorial Day starts, it's official barbecue season, right? To get those grills out, light them up. And this year, put on your vegetables. It's all about the vegetables. And you know, it tastes just as great. It's really how you treat it. Light it up. Uh, I got some beautiful peppers working here in the back that I'm making. This This is like the the sauce for this. So I'm just taking Ooh. beautiful peppers, charring them up, and then blending them. And that's going to be my sauce. And then when I grill my mushroom, I come up with this glaze. And this glaze, whether you grill fish, meat, or vegetables, the key is to have a little bit of sweetness in there. So I use some maple syrup, a little bit of uh, zesting in some lemon, some soy, and that's going to caramelize. And I'm just going to keep sort of glazing uh, my vegetables. And that's going to create this beautiful caramelization. And that's going to work really, really well for your barbecue this year. Oh, I guarantee you that. great. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, what are some common mistakes that we often make when grilling vegetables? Well, I think, first of all, with vegetables, you need to, just like when you go to your butcher shop and you have great meat, with vegetables, you want to trust where your vegetables and fruits are coming from. And this is, you know, our friends at Cox Farm take care of that. Greenhouse grown, beautiful vegetables all year long, right? So they are, first of all, <coughs> locally grown. So you get mm -hmm. great, beautiful vegetables locally grown all year around. So you get familiarity with it. So it's always peak season, right? Always fresh and delicious. And also when something is grown, you know, closer to you, it's obviously better for the environment. The best part about it, they're taking out all bad chemicals and pesticides so you can trust the product. It tastes delicious. It's locally grown. It will be better for you. And there's some great partners in Bright Farms and Muchi Farms. Make sure that you always get these. Look out for these brands. So you get really good crispy lettuce from Bright Farms and beautiful tomatoes and cucumber, for example, from Muchi Farms. Okay, now, Chef, you've covered a few techniques mm -hmm. with us here on cooking up our vegetables. We yeah. know what products that we need to be mm -hmm. on the eye out for, but what recipes can we incorporate these into when it comes to our cookouts this, this summer? Well, I have a twist on a classic here. I just grilled some strawberries, right? Everybody's had a strawberry cobbler. For me, it's always so associated. You think about summer when you have something like that. But I'm grilling the strawberries getting that char, that natural fruit sugar that comes out of the strawberries when you grill them, caramelizes and super delicious. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sort of cookies on top. And this strawberry cobbler, this grilled strawberry cobbler is absolutely amazing. And you know, key thing is get out there, grill this summer and make sure you're putting those beautiful vegetables and fruit on the grill. And I'm sure your friends and family will love it. Yeah, I never even thought about putting fruit on the grill, but oh, why not? Up the taste. Yes. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So these are a yeah. lot of great ideas that we can mix it up this summer when we're cooking out. Where can we find more recipes? You can go to moochiefarms.com. You can go to brightfarms.com. There's tons of recipe and more information about this beautiful uh, way of growing fruits and vegetables. Uh, greenhouse is definitely the way to go. I Don't like sleep it. on the sides. Those are sometimes my favorite dishes, best right? Part. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. You got it. You know. <laughs> yes. Chef, so good to have you on Studio yeah. 3 this morning. We appreciate it. Glad me. Thank you. <laughs>